On this video, I'll share with you everything you need to know about um, optimizing the Samson CO1 U condenser microphone. Now, is this the best condenser microphone to use? I don't know. I'm not really a sound guy, but um, I'm very happy with the sound quality. After much tinkering with it, I have to say, it wasn't. I wasn't happy with it right off the bat. Um, so the, the thing number one that I learned is that, uh, well, the, the first problem I had with it was it's really soft. So if some of you already bought it and found that the sound quality is really soft, maybe it's because, um, like me, I had the Samson Soft Pre, which is a software that came with the, the bundle installed. And, um, and uh, I found out later that they've discontinued it and I had to go to this website, I'll put this in the description box, to download the uninstaller and once I removed it, the sound quality was much improved. It's tip number one. Uh, question number two is, why get um, a condenser microphone? So let me, instead of explaining it, let me just demonstrate to you. Okay, I've uh, just recon uh, reconfigured my recording software to now take the audio input source from the IMAX internal mic and I'm sure you can tell now the sound is very echoey and it sounds like I'm in a cave. Um, so the reason why you want to get a condenser microphone is if you're doing podcasts or screencasts like I do then you'd want to have um, a, a condenser microphone to sort of focus on where the sound source is coming from so that you get crisper audio. Okay, for the final tip uh, about how to maximize your um, microphone is, first of all, do a spotlight search, type MIDI setup. Yeah, that should pop up here, audio MIDI setup. Uh, that's found in your, I, th I think it's possibly gonna be in your utilities folder under your applications. And within this uh, control panel, you can actually uh, control the um, the compression format, whether it's 44,100 hertz or 48,000 hertz, and whether you want a one channel 16 bit compression or two channel 16 bit compression. And I can tell you, uh, I won't bore you with the details, but I went through every single setting here and I found that um, 44,100 hertz at one channel 16 bit compression gives the most um, natural sounding uh, sound quality for audio podcasts or screencasts like this. Okay, so you can also use this just since we're on this page uh, to control the built-in microphone and um, other input devices. But for the Samsung CO1U, um, I found this to be the optimum setting. So I hope this uh, um, tutorial was uh, helpful to you. And um, like I said, I'm not a sound guy, so if you have any other tips or advice, feel free to add it to the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to hear from you.